Of course, nobody wants to breathe in bad air, but experts say if you look at air quality maps, you'll notice a discrepancy in low-income communities compared with more affluent neighborhoods. Some Bay Area groups are now working to change that. ABC 7 News reporter Gloria Rodriguez is in the newsroom. Gloria, uh, you spoke to Bay Area organizations offering air quality monitors to hopefully help folks. That's right, Julie and Kristen. Air quality sensors or monitors are often recommended to track air quality. Now, you can buy one, you can put it in your own home, but but one issue is how pricey they are. They could run from $100 to $300, but there are local groups working to make them more accessible to low-income communities. Another day of hazy skies in the Bay Area because of smoke from wildfires in Northern California and Oregon. The organization Brightline Defense has 19 monitors like this one tracking the air quality in four San Francisco neighborhoods, including the Tenderloin and South of Market. We had the opportunity to uh, do these community input meetings with particularly SRO tenants, single room occupancy uh, tenants that live in the Tenderloin, Mission District, uh, and also throughout eastern San Francisco and ask them where they would like these air quality sensors sited so that then they would know whether it's safe to go outside or not. Executive Director Eddie Ahn tells me they started this tracking in 2020 because of the wildfires then. Today, residents can check the data online in real time, and they're seeing the impact from these current wildfires. Air quality has gotten significantly worse, unfortunately, particularly in eastern San Francisco, where there's a dearth of low-income uh, uh, air quality sensors, uh, sensors for low-income households. And so that's been a challenge to see, that we, we have seen, essentially, the air quality readings take a big dip and that uh, we've seen uh, the air quality readings go to the red zone, meaning that people should stay indoors. The organization Groundwork Richmond has given out more than 20 purple air sensors, similar to this one, to residents as part of their Air Rangers program. If you look at the air quality map, uh, particularly with purple air sensors, you can see there is a discrepancy of where the air sensors are being deployed, and they are in more affluent neighborhoods. And so typically where the air quality is the worst is where there is a huge lack of sensors. Wildfires continue to impact air quality in the Bay Area. So Groundwork Richmond vows to keep giving out sensors and they also have some in public spaces. Brightline Defense is working with the Bay Area Air Quality Management District on distributing 50 air filtration units. You can go to their websites for more information and to see the air quality data. Live in the newsroom, Gloria Rodriguez, ABC 7 News. Okay.